y'all. Name's Kareem of Feldes Fashions. I'm coming to y'all today um, to show y'all something that I figured out. Uh, purchased my son some old school vans. So, yeah, he loves to wear headbands and scullies, just as I do. As I'm rocking this Kobe, you know, black mamba with the matching jacket on. So, the idea came from actually this piece which started out as just a headband a elastic headband Oop, turn it around it was just the elastic headband custom made from a company that um sell these they're just elastic with uh the old school printed um printed into it with the off the wall logo on it as well i liked it because it was something different other than the actual other headbands these actually had images printed into it. So I like different things. So it was worth it for me to purchase for him. So what it, I did was I purchased the headband. I uh, cut this, cut the back open. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this headband into a scully. He loves to wear scullies. So I purchased a scully from a local um, hair store and dollar store. They have them there. They run about $5.99, $6. Uh, the headband ran about 15 to 17 dollars um with shipping and you know having it sent out and made so uh it was worth the price to me because it's something like i said i haven't seen before and um yeah you're going to pay for things that if you want something different so 25 dollars wasn't bad uh to make this i don't think um so what i wanted to do is show you how how to if you have a saw machine you definitely need a saw machine to create this product um, so if you have a sewing machine, you want to use a zigzag stitch. Uh, if you don't sew, maybe your uh, sister, mother, aunt, someone sews, or somebody in the neighborhood sews. And you can purchase the, the um, elastic headband as well as the scully. And then from that point, what you're going to do is you're going to find the center mark of your headband. I know where the center is because it's right in the middle where the off the wall logo is. I'm going to take a stick pen. I'm moving a little fast, but I have to hurry up. I'm going to take a stick pen, and I'll put it in the middle. Find that center seam. The stick pen is there. All right. This elastic band is about 21 inches uh, long, but it stretches, of course. The headband, um, the scully is about the same, 20 and a half inches. It stretches, of course. So what we're going to do is find the center seam of the uh, scully. What we, how we do is we take both side seams, put it together. You will see the side seams because that's where the stitching is. Put them together, pull it, and find the, the center front. Once you find that center front, you're going to take it and stick a pin inside there just to mark it. So then once you have that marking, you're going to take your scully from the center seam. You're going to take your elastic band which is white on the inside which is not bad because you're not going to see that part anyway and you're going to match those two together those two markings well I have two pins here so once I have them marked the center I'm going to pin it to it once I have it pinned to it I let it overlap like a millimeter or two because I don't want the um the scully to show I want the whole elastic to show so then we're going to find that side seam. You're just going to run it around, find that side seam, and put another pin there in the side seam. You're just pinning it around. So we go to the other side seam. Remember, leave a little overlapping, like a millimeter or two, and put another pin there in the side seam. Now we have both side seams done. If you look at it, we have the center side and the side pin now we want to do the back so we roll over and we start from that side seam stretch the fabric out stretch the elastic out we'll put a pin here like a half inch from the back we're going to do the same thing from this side pin it around to the back and actually find that center back Mark a pin there. 
say if you have any questions you can ask me questions in the messages or inbox me I can give you a uh, I'll put the link in the description to where I purchased it and we'll pin it there I know y'all can't see it but down here working I'm just pinning it to the end the back now did the front first did both sides now the, the back the center back so we have all points pinned the front and the back which when it's on it will fit like this so what we're going to do is we're going to take the zigzag stitch and we're going to stitch around we're going to start from the front and stitch around one down the bottom and then we're going to come up here and stitch around here as well the way it locks it in if you have your custom personalized scully or wave cap that matches your, your old school vans they also have other ones you can actually message them um, on uh, on their Instagram and tell them you want a custom color or a custom print or something else and they'll do that as well and uh, I think my son will like it something different something he can wrap and um, yeah hopefully get a lot of compliments and I'm sure he'll want me to order more so yeah so you have any other questions feel free to um, leave a comment or just you know um, if you want any of these I can like I said I'll put the link in the description where you can order and go from there um, I had actually messaged them to custom order this uh, this wasn't on the site but I start asking more questions more detailed questions but I like it you know so like I said you have somebody with a zigzag sewing machine you buy the elastic band you purchase the scully and you can wear it well, up or you can wear it down I love the Colby one. Dribbling. Dunking the ball. Hey, ain't nothing like custom, y'all. And if you don't sew and if you need me to make one, hey, I probably can make one for you. But just, you know, you know, just feel free to ask. Thanks, y'all.